And now to the Trump presidency and another shakeup at the White House. The president's top economic advisor, Gary Cohn, is resigning. CBS 4's Rudabe Shabazi is here with details. Hi, Elliot. Cohn becomes the latest in a series of high profile departures from the Trump administration. Tonight, many are wondering if it has to do with his free trade views and the reported disputes with the president over his proposed tariffs on steel and aluminum. President Trump welcomed Swedish Prime Minister Stefan Löfven to the White House, where the topic of tariffs came up. Sweden will always be helpful. The European Union has threatened to tax American imports in response to the president's proposed tariffs, a 25% tax on steel and a 10% tax on aluminum. This primarily hits longtime allies, Canada, Britain, Germany, South Korea, and Japan. The president hinted at exempting Mexico and Canada if they agree to better terms within the North American Free Trade Agreement. In a phone call on Monday, President Trump told Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau NAFTA leaves the U.S. with a trade deficit. Trudeau expressed serious concerns over the tariff. Leaders of the president's own party are publicly pushing back, exploring ways to block or scale back the tariffs if the president follows through with them. House Speaker Paul Ryan believes it's smarter to direct tariffs at countries like China. So what we're encouraging the administration to do is to focus on what is clearly a legitimate problem and to be more surgical in its approach so that we can go after the true abusers without creating any kind of unintended consequences or collateral damage. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer appeared to be in agreement. So they ought to make sure what they do is focused on China. They are our number one trade problem, not Canada, not Europe. A new Quinnipiac University poll shows 50% of Americans oppose the tariffs, while just 31% support them. And two out of three Americans believe a trade war would be bad for the economy. Elliot?